part of NADFAS's ongoing commitment to the conservation and restoration of our national heritage, we encourage and support employers to run relevant arts and crafts apprenticeships. Kate Montague has been an apprentice at Geoffrey Preston, architectural sculptors, specialising in decorative plasterwork and the art of stucco. I asked Geoffrey Preston how he started out and what he looks for in an apprentice. When I was learning, my teacher made us draw in medieval style, come to understand that. And also draw from the sculptors and architects that we were actually working on, so that we actually fundamentally got to understand those. Somebody's got to be able to have a good eye for form and shape. And I've got to be able to see that they're going to be capable of modelling in clay, because that's the fundamental medium that we're working with. So I might get them to actually do a practice piece to begin with, to show me what they're capable of doing. This, in fact, is a piece that Kate did for me. I said to her, you know, that she'd have to come in for a week. But you can see that it's actually quite a complex piece and there's quite a lot to understanding the shape and the form of these leaves. If, you know, if you can't see that, you know, potential to get to grips with that, I'm afraid at this sort of kind of level of modelling, it's not really possible to sort of teach them unless you can see them, you know, achieving something with it. Hand-modelled plasterwork is now a rarity, but it has an honourable place in the history of art and architecture. When the use of stucco started to wane in the mid to late 18th century, it was partly the result of stylistic change and partly the result of technical developments. Because of World War II and the destructions of buildings, later the need to restore these beautiful ceilings called for the rediscovery of the art of hand-modelled stucco. I asked Kate, what kind of skills do you need? Patience. <laughs> I think, yeah, you need to not give up when it's difficult. I think you need to have a good eye, a sort of steady hand. I think what's really nice about working here is, unlike in sort of film work where there's always a lot of time pressure and you just try and get things done as quickly as you can, the work here is, the idea is to try and get it to the highest standard that it can possibly be. So. If you think something's finished, then often you can sort of stand back and look at it again and realise that you could do it a lot better. And yeah, just to keep going until something's as good as it possibly can be. Um, probably about two thirds of the time what we're doing is working on projects and Kate works completely alongside us on those. So um, Jeff will usually design it and then um, Kate's Jeff and I will model. When we have downtime, which is quite regularly because it's quite hard to run such specialist projects back to back. Then we work on apprentice pieces. Kate's also done an apprentice piece in stucco, which is another material we use, which is directly modelled plaster. Um, so that's, that's a rather nice piece as well. And it's technically quite challenging and um, although the forms are similar and the process is similar to working in clay. The material is very different and you're also working against time as well. Um, so that's a really um, nice piece that Kate did. When I thought about doing an apprenticeship, I sort of did a bit of research and I found that there isn't really any government funding, especially if you're over 24 and you've got a degree. So. I looked at different sort of sources of funding and NAVFAS was, was definitely part of what made me able to yeah, commit to a two-year apprenticeship here. I really enjoy every day <laughs> in this workshop because there's so, so much variety and so much to learn. It's really amazing to have such sort of one-to-one -one attention. So I really enjoy everything about the job.